Tips and Tricks for Successful Gold Prospecting Adventures in Southern California Be prepared to be amazed by the exhilarating world of gold prospecting in Southern California. Embark on thrilling adventures as you uncover hidden treasures and unlock the secrets of the land. Equipped with top-notch gold prospecting equipment, you'll navigate through the rugged terrain guided by your passion for discovery. But hold on tight, a success in this captivating pursuit requires more than just enthusiasm. Familiarizing yourself with the prospecting laws and regulations in Southern California is essential to ensure a seamless and legal experience. With these tips and tricks up your sleeve, you'll be well prepared to embark on your gold-seeking escapades with confidence and awe-inspiring results. Get ready to witness nature's golden wonders unfold before your very eyes. 10 Tips and Techniques for Successful Gold Prospecting in Southern California Prepare to be amazed as we delve into the exciting world of gold prospecting in Southern California. Whether you're a seasoned prospector or just starting out on your golden adventure, these 10 tips and techniques are sure to take your treasure hunting skills to the next level. Equipped with the right gold prospecting equipment, such as metal detectors and panning tools, you'll be able to uncover hidden riches in no time. From tried and true panning techniques to expert tips for finding elusive gold nuggets, we've got you covered. Get ready to embark on a thrilling journey through California's gold-rich landscapes, where every shimmering speck holds the promise of untold wealth. So grab your gear and let's uncover the secrets of successful gold prospecting together. Number 1. Research, research, research. Immerse yourself in books, articles, and online resources to learn about the best areas to prospect, equipment needed, and proper techniques. Number 2. Choose the right location. Look for areas with a history of gold deposits or regions known for their potential. Consult geological maps and consider joining local prospecting clubs for valuable insights. Number 3. Get the right equipment. Invest in a high-quality gold pan, a shovel, a classifier, and a snuffer bottle. These tools will help you efficiently extract gold from rocks, sand, and gravel. Number 4. Master the art of panning. Practice swirling the pan in a gentle, circular motion to separate the heavy gold from the lighter materials. Patience is key here. Take your time to ensure you don't lose any precious flakes. Number 5. Pay attention to the clues. Look for indicators such as black sand, quartz veins, and exposed bedrock, as these can be signs of potential gold deposits nearby. Number 6. Follow the water. Gold is often found in rivers, streams, and creeks. Focus your efforts on areas where water has eroded the land, exposing gold-rich sediments. Number 7. Sample strategically. Take small samples from different locations to determine if there's gold in the area. Pan these samples separately to assess the potential value of the site. Number 8. Use a sluice box. To process larger volumes of material, consider using a sluice box. This tool uses flowing water to separate gold from other sediments, increasing your chances of finding gold. Number 9. Metal detectors. For more advanced prospecting, investing in a metal detector can help you locate gold nuggets buried deeper in the ground. Learn how to use it effectively to maximize your success. Number 10. Respect the environment. As you venture into nature's embrace, be mindful of leaving no trace behind. Follow local regulations, fill any holes you dig, and always prioritize the preservation of our beautiful planet. Laws and regulations regarding recreational gold mining in Southern California. Prepare by the intricate web of laws and regulations surrounding recreational gold mining in Southern California. The California Department of Fish and Wildlife has implemented a set of regulations to ensure the preservation and sustainability of this precious activity. And that's not all the Bureau of Land Management also plays a crucial role by issuing permits that allow individuals to explore and mine for gold in designated areas. These regulations are not meant to dampen your enthusiasm for striking it rich, but rather to protect the delicate ecosystems and wildlife habitats that exist in these regions. By adhering to these guidelines, recreational gold miners can enjoy their hobby while contributing to the conservation efforts. The California Department of Fish and Wildlife regulations cover various aspects such as seasonal restrictions, equipment limitations, water quality standards, and even specific rules for certain areas. Meticulous they are in ensuring responsible mining practices. But wait, there's more. If you find value please subscribe and like to help me add to this channel. The Bureau of Land Management permits are a golden ticket for aspiring gold miners. These permits grant access to specific locations where recreational mining is allowed on public lands. Can you imagine the thrill of being granted permission to explore these treasure troves? So, buckle up as we delve deeper into the fascinating world of laws and regulations regarding recreational gold mining in Southern California. Get ready to uncover the secrets behind responsible mining practices and discover how these measures contribute to preserving both nature's beauty.
and your chance at striking gold. Here are some laws and regulations regarding recreational gold mining in Southern California. Number 1. The General Mining Law of 1872. This federal law governs mining activities on public lands in the United States. It allows individuals to explore and mine for minerals, including gold, on federal lands as long as they comply with certain regulations. Number 2. Bureau of Land Management, BLM, Regulations. The BLM oversees public lands in Southern California and has specific regulations for recreational gold mining. These regulations may include obtaining permits or authorization for certain mining activities. Number 3. California Department of Fish and Wildlife, CDFW, Regulations. The CDFW has regulations in place to protect fish and wildlife habitats during gold mining activities. These regulations may include restrictions on mining near water bodies or during sensitive times of the year to avoid disturbing spawning or nesting areas. Number 4. California State Parks Regulations. If you plan to prospect for gold in state parks in Southern California, you must adhere to the regulations set forth by the California State Park System. These regulations may include obtaining permits, following specific rules for mining, and respecting any restrictions in place to protect the park's natural resources. It is crucial to thoroughly research and familiarize yourself with these laws and regulations before engaging in recreational gold mining in Southern California. By doing so, you can ensure that your adventures are inspiring but also in compliance with legal requirements. Happy prospecting! Here are some common questions people ask about where to find gold in Southern California, along with their answers. Where can I find gold in Southern California? There are several areas in Southern California where you can find gold. Some popular locations include the San Gabriel River, Santa Ana River, San Bernardino Mountains, and the Mojave Desert. Are there any specific rivers or streams where I can pan for gold? Yes! The San Gabriel River and Santa Ana River are known for gold panning. You can also try your luck in smaller streams and tributaries in the San Bernardino Mountains. Are there any gold mines open to the public in Southern California? Yes, there are a few gold mines in Southern California that offer public access. One example is the Eagle Mining Company in Julian, where you can take guided tours and try your hand at gold panning. Is it legal to pan for gold in Southern California? Yes, it is legal to pan for gold in Southern California. However, it is important to respect private property and obtain any necessary permits or permissions if you plan to search for gold on private land. What equipment do I need to go gold prospecting in Southern California? To get started, you will need basic gold panning equipment, such as a gold pan, shovel, classifier, and a snuffer bottle. You may also want to consider using a sluice box or a metal detector for more advanced prospecting. The best equipment and tools for finding gold in Southern California. Prepare to be amazed by the incredible equipment and tools available for finding gold in Southern California. From gold pans and classifiers to sluice boxes, metal detectors, and even suction dredges, there is no shortage of innovative technology to help you strike it rich. These tools are designed to enhance your prospecting experience and increase your chances of discovering that elusive treasure. Whether you're a seasoned prospector or just starting out on your gold hunting journey, these top-of-the-line equipment options will leave you in awe of their capabilities. Get ready to embark on an adventure like no other as we delve into the world of gold prospecting in Southern California with the best equipment and tools at your disposal. When it comes to more sophisticated equipment used by gold prospectors in Southern California, there are a few tools and technologies worth mentioning. Metal detectors. Metal detectors are commonly used by gold prospectors to detect and locate buried gold nuggets or flakes. These devices emit electromagnetic signals that can identify metallic objects hidden underground, including gold. There are various models available with different features and capabilities, such as discrimination settings to filter out unwanted metals. Sluice boxes. Sluice boxes are long, narrow troughs used to separate gold from other materials. Prospectors use them to channel water and sediment through the box, allowing heavier gold particles to settle while lighter materials are washed away. Sluice boxes can be set up in rivers or streams and are an effective way to process larger quantities of material. Dredges. Dredges are larger scale equipment used in gold prospecting. They consist of a floating platform with a suction hose and a sluice box attachment. Dredges are capable of extracting significant amounts of material from riverbeds or stream banks, allowing prospectors to process more material in a shorter time. However, it's important to note that regulations and permits may be required for the use of dredges. Dry washes. Dry washes are machines designed to separate gold from dry desert sediments. They use a combination of air, vibration, and gravity to separate the heavier gold particles from the lighter material. Dry washes are particularly useful in arid environments where water sources may be scarce. Gold cube. 
The gold cube is a popular piece of equipment that uses a series of trays and a gravity-driven system to separate gold from other materials. It efficiently captures fine gold particles using vortex matting and prevents gold loss. It's worth mentioning that while these tools can enhance efficiency and improve the chances of finding gold, they may require a higher level of expertise and experience to operate effectively. Additionally, always ensure you are using equipment in accordance with local regulations and obtain any necessary permits before engaging in any prospecting activities. Happy prospecting with your more sophisticated equipment! Are there any gold prospecting clubs or organizations in Southern California? Yes, there are several gold prospecting clubs and organizations in Southern California. These groups often offer resources, guidance, and even organized outings for gold prospecting enthusiasts. Absolutely! Here are a few examples of gold prospecting clubs and organizations in Southern California. Gold Prospectors Association of America, GPAA. The GPAA is a nationwide organization with many local chapters in Southern California. They offer membership benefits such as access to mining claims, gold prospecting events, and educational resources. Southwestern Prospectors and Miners Association, SPMA. SPMA is a club based in Southern California that focuses on gold prospecting and mining. They organize outings, provide information on local prospecting areas, and offer educational programs for members. Desert Gold Diggers. This club is based in Tucson, Arizona, but has members from Southern California as well. They focus on gold prospecting in the desert regions and organize outings, meetings, and workshops for members to learn and share their experiences. San Gabriel Valley Prospectors. This club is based in Azusa, California, and is dedicated to gold prospecting in the San Gabriel Mountains. They hold regular meetings, outings, and provide information on local prospecting areas. Santa Rosa Gold Diggers. Based in Santa Rosa, California, this club is focused on gold prospecting in Northern California but has members from Southern California as well. They offer educational programs, outings, and access to mining claims for their members. These are just a few examples of gold prospecting clubs and organizations in Southern California. Joining a club can provide you with a supportive community of fellow prospectors, access to knowledge and resources. You will find Amazon product links of all our favorite gear for gold panning, happy prospecting. If you click and buy any Amazon products, I will be paid a small fee but not from you. You will not pay any additional charges. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like to help me grow my channel.